with your host, David White. Now, the author of The Path of Least Resistance and The Tech Insider, David White. Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, February 28th. I finally got the date, date right. Uh, and uh, it is National Engineers Week. Actually, nothing today by itself other than, uh, well, it's Nuclear Cowboys Night for me over uh, downtown. If anybody's never seen them, uh, imagine about 16 motorcycles all about oh, 60 feet in the air doing double, triple flips, all that kind of stuff. Uh, eh, very entertaining, especially since I'm a big motorcycle fan. But uh, to actually see somebody... Um, uh, do that with, uh, uh, well, how can I say that? Do it with a quad uh, is extremely uh, interesting. Anyway, it is National Engineers Week and Nuclear Cowboys Night for me, uh, so we'll have a good time. I know some people like to go to the theater, see a neat movie. Uh, me, uh, flames and motorcycles uh, doing doubles and triple flips. Uh, you know, about 100 uh, feet at a time, uh, always interesting. Uh, of course, being down here in Tampa, it is race week. Uh, it's been speed weeks here for a couple of weeks. Got Daytona 500 on Sunday, so I'll be uh, enjoying that. Uh, normally, uh, I know the, the uh, weather is pretty mild in most of the country, but still nice to be uh, sunny and 75. And all the tourists have actually hit uh, clear water. The, uh, normally you can really tell when everybody shows up and today was the day because traffic was uh, about halfway down the causeway all the way over here. So uh, we do, uh, the tourists are here and uh, there's always that uh, wonderful inverse uh, law of bathing suits. Uh, and apparently it applies to the French uh, most uh, annoyingly and that is the bigger the gut on the uh, older Frenchman, the smaller the Speedo. I don't know, understand how that uh, becomes. Maybe just because they're big, the Speedo looks smaller, but it just seems like the bigger that these people are, the smaller Speedo that they buy. Ugh. Anyway, uh, it's not safe out there on the beach, uh, well, probably for about a week or two, and then we've got all the uh, wonderful college girls coming down. So uh, it'll be, uh, things are going to be improving shortly out on the beaches of uh, Clearwater. Uh, but uh, ready to have a wonderful day, and it is bright and sunshiny. It's hard to actually, uh, you can't frown on a day like this down here. On my radar, uh, yesterday was a very bad day to be in shoes. Uh, Deckers and Crocs both uh, disappointed fairly uh, succinctly. Most of them looks like that they, from my reading, look like they had a two things. One, uh, costs on their products uh, for building the products is going up. Uh, Deckers has found out that uh, they're looking at anywhere from a 50 to 100 percent increase in the skin cost for their uh, Crocs, I mean for their uh, Uggs, I guess they're the big thing. The Crocs are the little plastic shoes. I never liked them. My feet always sweat against plastic shoes. I never much liked them. Didn't like people that wore shoes without socks either. It uh, was always bad when they took them off. But either way, I guess I probably don't like Deckers or Crocs. But either way, uh, they had a bad day. I, th I think Deckers was down at least 10 bucks, if not more. I haven't looked hard at it today. Uh, but it looks like they are going to have two things. One, uh, higher input costs over the next uh, six months. Uh, and uh, most people looked at it and thought, well, with a mild winter, maybe not a lot of people have been uh, buying uh, those Uggs at all either. Uh, also, uh, U.S. home sale numbers came in. They were down about nine-tenths. Uh, not hugely surprising, but you would think, especially with the great weather up north, that a lot of people would have been looking at houses that normally wouldn't have a year ago, and so that they're down uh, opposed to really horrible weather a year ago. Um, has a lot of people kind of worried. Um, we'll have to switch here just quickly. Uh, to some charts. I uh, did talk about uh, PEIX uh, on uh, Ken's show. I think that was on Tuesday. Or was it yesterday? Can't remember. I know a lot of people uh, uh, took a look at it. Great pattern. I want honor to buy it uh, for a uh, uh, nice little uh, uh, 
uh, pop in case there was shooting uh, in the uh, Gulf, uh, you know, maybe some kind of disruption of oil. Uh, I think a few people got to it and uh, talked to a couple people in the den, said they made about 20 cents off the thing already. Uh, not bad for a, a dollar and 15 cent stock or dollar and 10 cent stock. I was actually thinking of uh, trying to get a play on this back up to 185. Uh, PEIX is Pacific Ethanol and uh, let's see if anybody can remember when I was talking about it. Uh, yeah, so it is. Uh, it is that uh, could uh, kind of have some nice volume in this thing today. Uh, does look like it, but uh, this is one of the patterns I actually scan for, and why this thing popped out to me the other day, and I brought it up um, more for the reason that I'd play it would be uh, cheap insurance or something over the weekend. I have a think a lot of other people had the exact same idea on Pacific Ethanol, but uh, any shooting over the weekend probably not a bad bet to be in this thing. Uh, a little bit late if you haven't gotten into it already, uh, but if you were quick on the mouse today, you made a little bit of money. Uh, but, uh, you know, knowing that, uh, you know, 15% ethanol and gas, um, this one will be a rocket if we have any real big oil disruptions out there. Let's see, let me go back to my other slide here. Um, CRM. Uh, Salesforce.com uh, came out with their earnings, also uh, doing extremely well today. Um, not unsurprising, I don't think their, their numbers were as good as a lot of analysts have been uh, crowing about on financial news shows, but uh, eh, they were actually fairly short um, and had fairly high short interest. A uh, little bump out there, eh, not too bad. Uh, when I looked at them before, uh, pattern looks like it could go to 150. But uh, I'm thinking that uh, uh, this may be the last run for them uh, from looking at uh, and going through their uh, uh, after hours uh, earnings uh, call. Uh, they may not be as bright as a lot of analysts out there are saying. Uh, when people really start crowing this big about a company in the uh, earnings report and the way that the uh, CEO and CFO talk uh, doesn't come anywhere close to it, I always think that uh, they think this might be a good time to sell the next rally. So uh, keep a close eye on CRM. Uh, a little bit more money up on the top. Uh, always give uh, a company like this with um, sh high short interest at least three days. If you're long, you normally want to hang on for at least another couple of days. Uh, that being said, I think the market's going to pull back. Uh, this pretty much ends about 99% of the earnings are in uh, for this cycle. Um, so we can probably start to look for a, a, uh, a less news-driven cycle on earnings. I think there's still some out. 99% number I think I heard today was on S&P stocks. Um, why do you think ITILL will be this weekend, Dave? I don't know. Uh, G7 may ask his question once again in the den. Oh, the war. Uh, normally, uh, there was a question in the den about why you think that this could be it. Uh, that is because of uh, the full moon. Uh, you want to be plus or minus uh, three days uh, of the new moon. Uh, if you're going to go attack uh, Iran, uh, you want the cover of darkness. You don't want to be uh, silhouetted silhouetted against the moon uh, if you're coming in in a jet fighter trying to drop bombs. Um, and uh, so normally uh, the military, when I checked, said that you wanted to be plus or minus uh, three days in the new moon to do it. So uh, I think that was the 22nd, so we have probably till about tomorrow to be worried about. Uh, then the next new moon would be March, I think it's March 24th. So uh, the next cycle we'd really want to be uh, looking for uh, if uh, Israel decides to go uh, bomb them would probably be the 21st of March through the 27th of March, something like that. Um, so yeah, we're just, uh, the, the op opening or window is uh, fairly, uh, fairly narrow. But it's the same uh, thing if you go back in history to uh, uh, D-Day. Uh, there were uh, they needed very uh, specific conditions, and if they didn't get in during those conditions, and a lot of them had to do with the tide, uh, the uh, moon, uh, and uh, 
the uh, weather uh, all cooperating at once to get uh, all those uh, wonderful guys on uh, on Omaha Beach, uh, what, uh, 1944 or 43? It's 44. Um, and uh, if they didn't miss, uh, the next opening, if I remember right, uh, was going to be in August. So it uh, would have gone from uh, j early June to uh, August. Uh, anyway, Iran uh, is on everybody's mind out there. Uh, whether or not they'll have a preemptive strike, uh, I suspect that they won't. They've, uh, according to a lot of uh, uh, reports coming out of Iran now, uh, a lot of uh, turmoil coming from um, huge amounts of inflation in their country caused by uh, the, for all practical, all letters of credit with Iran are gone. Uh, they think something's going to happen and there's a good chance that Iran is not going to pay them back. Uh, it's kind of cash and carry right now and that's uh, driven a huge uh, amount of uh, inflation just over the last 15 to 20 days. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, you look sometimes, uh, you know, they almost uh, have been making some threats about actually going to war uh, because uh, they're afraid they're uh, you know, they may get, get overthrown uh, before they have a chance to uh, stand up to the infidels. Uh, out here in the news, uh, Apple patents some really, really thin keyboards. Um, the talk is uh, these things are going to be as thin uh, as uh, 0.2 millimeters, I guess the travel range is going to be. And the talk now is that a iPad would actually come with some kind of fold-out keyboard uh, that would be ultra thin underneath it, but the patent was filed, I think, on Wednesday, uh, and it looks like uh, you know they would have something equivalent to just slightly th thicker than a few sheets of paper uh, that would actually be a keyboard for uh, tablet devices. So uh, tablets may uh, be coming back uh, with a keyboard fairly soon. Not exactly sure where this patent is applied for because, of course, Apple's not telling you. But it looks like in the effort to get ever and ever thinner devices, Apple is uh, going after these. Uh, Google's planning a Fios-like service. Uh, Google has been pushing their own uh, uh, kind of uh, test, uh, how can I say, it? test uh, uh, test bed in Kansas City, Kansas. I did live in Kansas City, Can uh, Kansas City, Missouri for a while, uh, about 18 years. Uh, and uh, one of the things that uh, we knew is that uh, there was an area down there called Cherry Hill, and this is exactly uh, where they're putting this all in, in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, but it looks like Google's pushing their own cable system, uh, much like Fios has for Verizon. Uh, looks very interesting, but the preliminary data says Google may be in the television business or cable business soon. We'll be back in a second. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective and maximize your returns. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The perspective 
prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of the money game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You were born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we get back to the market, this is uh, one strange day. Uh, we've got the, uh, uh, the uh, NASDAQ up 7, the S&P up 2, and the uh, Dow Jones uh, off uh, 6. Uh, flirted as high as uh, 13,013 uh, on the Dow Jones, pulled back to under that 13,000. Uh, the other really interesting thing for me today is this may be the lowest volume day of the year that's a, that was the full day, that wasn't a three-day weekend, that wasn't anything. Uh, 2.7 billion shares now uh, looks to go to 3.3 billion by the end of the day, maybe 3.2, uh, are easily going to come in as one of the lightest volume days of the year, even if we looked into last year. Uh, ridiculously light volume. I think it may even come in less than uh, the couple of days before Christmas. So extremely light volume on the New York Stock Exchange consolidated tape. As we get back uh, to the news here, if you want to give me a call, uh, you can ring us at 877-927-6648. And we look for your call. Uh, next in the news is a company called Box.net is giving you 50 I say again, five zero gigabytes of storage for free forever. Uh, this is one of the best deals I've ever heard of. Uh, they did this for iPhones when they came out. Now they're doing it for the Android phones. So uh, you might want to run to uh, box.net if you ever wanted to have a lot of data storage on a cloud. Uh, you could wander in and uh, use for any of your, uh, well, like uh, your phones smartphones or anything else. Might be nice to maybe set some movies up there or some video if you ever need to watch it. Be able to download it fairly quickly and took a look at it. 50 gigabytes seems to me like an awful lot, but uh, uh, seems very interesting. Anyway, they're a company that's looking at going public and uh, trying to get a little bit of uh, news uh, out there, but it is box.net.
Um, plus the file size limit gets a bump to 100 megabytes up to 25 megabytes if you get the app before March 23rd. So anyway, pretty cool if you're looking for somewhere to get some cloud, free cloud storage on the internet. TiVo's got two new set-top boxes. I was kind of bringing this back around uh, to what uh, Google is doing. Um, I didn't spend enough time on uh, Google's uh, high-speed internet in Kansas City, Kansas, Missouri, uh, but it was in a little place called Cherry Hill. And why it brings uh, everything back to me is that uh, uh, right after the Vietnam fall of Vietnam, uh, they brought about 20,000 Vietnamese in uh, kind of a, it was a desolate area of Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, so they cleaned it up and put a lot of those Vietnamese refugees in there. Uh, one of the things that caused a huge brouhaha was they had to fire all the people that had anything to do uh, with uh, picking up lost dogs uh, and cats because there weren't any. They all just mysteriously vanished. Uh, vanished. And yes, uh, these people were not above eating cats and dogs. So uh, they actually had to get rid of, uh, I guess, for six months or a year, the uh, uh, the dog catcher in Kansas City, Kansas. So I always remember that area. But that whole area is now desolate yet again. It never was a great area of that. And they're putting in super high-speed Internet that's about 100 times faster than you would get from, let's say, Comcast or Time Warner. Um, you're probably doing a lot better if you have Fios from Sprint. But uh, for the most part, these... Uh, services are going to be uh, at about 100 times faster, and it's kind of a test bed uh, for what I think eventually is uh, Google looking at uh, putting out their own service with super high-speed data capability uh, for services and products that they want to sell in the future. And uh, they don't want Comcast or Time Warner or even Sprint standing in their ways. Uh, so I think this is part of a long-term plan for them. Uh, when we look at TiVo's new boxes, uh, they have something very interesting in that they will work with data services and be able to stream in and record up to four different uh, uh, channels at one time uh, and actually replay four different channels across and through your home. So uh, TiVo had their earnings out, uh, didn't know all that well. Uh, but uh, at least uh, they are going to kick out a few new project uh, products, and it looks like uh, they may be working together with Google long term for the set top box for high speed internet. But anyway, uh, continue working on it. Anyway, uh, we're going to get to a few other stocks here uh, as we have time before the end. Oh, about 30 seconds before the end of this segment. So uh, uh, we'll continue with this discussion a little bit later. Uh, just with the time we have left here, we were talking about uh, a woman that was uh, being forced to uh, decrypt her own hard drive. Well, that did get thrown out today. Uh, I think it was the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals uh, went through it, and uh, this one was actually fairly quick. In about two weeks, they tossed this thing out. So uh, you still uh, can't be compelled to testify against yourself. Kind of interesting. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND-dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. 
What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. TFNN has an exciting announcement. As part of our Go Long America contest, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes will be hosting four live in-person workshops that are absolutely free to attend. Denver on February 21st, Spokane on February 22nd, San Francisco on February 23rd, all from 6.30 till 9.30 in the evening, followed up by Boston on Saturday morning, March 3rd. Steve Rhodes will show you how to understand the power of 1% and how to master probability, along with avoiding getting stopped out of trades early, while Tom O'Brien will speak about the intense trading power of Tiger Gartley and Butterfly Patterns. All of these workshops are completely free to attend. Come see Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes live at one of these free workshops as part of the Go Long America Tour. For more information and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com and click on the Go Long America Tour banner. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by Direction Shares. To learn more about technical tools for the sophisticated active investor, hit the Direction Shares banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, watching uh, some stocks here today that seem to be making some interesting signals. Uh, one of them is Agrium. Uh, symbols AGU. Uh, I know a lot of people in the den have been talking about uh, playing agricultural stocks lately. Uh, this was interesting. Uh, Agrium uh, produces and markets agricultural nutrients, industrial products, and specialty products worldwide. Uh, involves the retail supply of agricultural products. Um, kind of interesting. This uh, has a long-term pattern uh, of a uh, gap down on fairly large volume that started back, uh, what is about the, uh, looks like August 16th of last year, uh, where it popped down and uh, been kind of bouncing off those uh, points of resistance on October 27th. Uh, it hit uh, $85.25, which is eh, just a hair underneath, the, underneath that gap. Uh, 1.6 million shares uh, has come into it with 1.3 million shares. Uh, got to $85.91 on the 22nd, uh, and it's slowly kind of rolled over here. Uh, energy up and down is about the same, uh, but uh, kind of interesting that we can see these stocks that actually fairly strong energy up uh, have been just a little lighter as they've come back to these long-term res resistance levels. And uh, kind of on this one, looks like it's uh, ready to go back into maybe an upper trading range where it could pull back uh, maybe 81 bucks, something like that, uh, on the previous move down. Uh, I'm suspecting that we are going to get a fairly decent pullback in the markets and have been looking for it for a week or so on that pullback. Uh, I suspect that everybody's going to get extremely bearish, and uh, we're probably going to see the volume dry up at somewhere around the uh, 1302 or uh, 1298 level. 
Um, and uh, everybody will be extremely bearish. I think uh, if we're going to uh, break and hold above 13,000 and uh, oh, 1370 on the S&P, uh, it's going to be on a pullback where everybody gets extremely bearish. And then it's time to actually uh, be bullish again. Just uh, such light volume up here, especially today. Like I said, uh, lightest volume of the year, trying to go and bust out a previous high. Uh, not always the thing that you want if you are bullish. Uh, and uh, we do have some other stocks that seem to be rather uh, interesting. One is Alexia Pharmaceuticals. I'm not much one on playing this, but uh, uh, some of these penny stocks have been making some fairly decent signals uh, at these lows. Uh, that'd be another one to keep an eye on, kind of like PEIX. Uh, -E uh, very interesting uh, for that. But uh, Alexia Pharmaceuticals, probably have to do a little bit more research on this, but had a low of 51 cents on December 8th at uh, 7.1 million shares. Uh, as we come back in there, uh, pretty much the same thing, but it's been going kind of sideways here. Uh, normally you'll get one more test of that low, uh, and uh, if we get volume to really dry up on this one, looks like it might be finding some kind of low. Uh, let's see if I can find something else here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Got a few other things. Uh, TD Ameritrade, another one that makes me think that we might be seeing uh, some level of uh, temporary highs in this marketplace. Uh, a lot of times you'll see the broker-dealers trade in union with the direction of the market. Uh, symbol is AMTD, and uh, it is Ameritrade. And it's an E-Trade baby, right, that speaks. Uh, yeah. Anyway, October 27, $17.62, 9.1 million shares. Uh, we've been beating around up here uh, 2.5 million shares, so uh, what, 25% of the volume? Uh, not a big uh, kind of uh, a roaring, a roaring endorsement of TD Ameritrade going any higher. The energy, like I said, it's like a lot of these, not all that bad, but in the last four or five days, the volume's really tied off. That's why I'm not looking for some kind of end of the world pullback in the marketplace. Uh, just enough to get everybody bearish again so that we actually can come up and break these levels again. So uh, everybody will be scared, probably be out 30, 45 days, start hearing the end of the world, uh, and uh, be time to actually go long again. Uh, all the natural ebb and flow of uh, the marketplace. Let me crap one more. Try to remember, I didn't delete all the ones that I didn't want to look at, so I've got to Go back through here and find the ones that I thought were very interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Athe, Exxon Pharmaceuticals, uh, Avery Dennison Corporation. Uh, Avery Dennison Corporation, AVY. Uh, we've got uh, another one that's kind of making one of these patterns that looks like it's uh, topped off. Uh, energy, again, not all that horrible coming up. And in fact, a great pattern for this last whole leg from uh, $25.52 on January 31st up to this $31.10 high. Uh, but once we've gotten to these highs, uh, just haven't got the kind of volume that would make you think that this thing can hold these highs now. Uh, again, the energy pretty much coming up to these highs, not all that bad. Uh, normally what that means is a false break, breakout and then a pullback to some level of support. Everybody gets real bearish and then maybe on the next move up, you actually break those highs. Symbol is AVY. Of course, they're the ones that make lots of uh, printable labels and everything else for the uh, office environment. What I'm really looking at is this high on uh, uh, January 6th, $31.31, 2.4 million shares. Over the last uh, four days, we've had 660,000, 900,000, 1.3 million shares. Uh, yesterday and then one million shares today, uh, but certainly looks like you know this is a fairly uh, uh, easy theme that we've seen around this marketplace, and that is uh, decent energy up to the highs. We've gotten to the highs, the energy's dropped out, and I'm looking for a fairly decent pullback um, in a lot of these stocks. Uh, let's get the uh, next one to come back up. General Cable Corporation. Uh, I wanted to get back into this one. 
uh, one of the issues is exactly what I was talking about, is you get to these highs, you find no volume. Um, you had a couple of highs in this thing where it's going back and uh, challenging it, but uh, pretty good indication of what I'm seeing in a lot of charts in the markets these days. Uh, general cable, uh, cable symbol is GBC. Uh, there is a uh, one uh, million share high on August 15th and a 1.5 million share high at $30.74 on August 31st. Uh, but we've gotten into these levels, uh, actually had enough uh, energy, uh, 1.8 million shares. So this thing should have continued on and upward, uh, but has hit uh, some other gaps down uh, that actually had some decent volume up here, actually went against a uh, gap on, uh, looks like May, no, it would be June 2nd, of 2011, but uh, that one had 5 million shares on that down day. Uh, so we actually break above the previous highs. We start hitting that uh, huge amount of uh, down days in these marketplaces. Uh, and even though we had more energy and more volume to break above the previous highs uh, that we had seen, as soon as we hit these high volume down days from pr the previous, uh, it just turns around and rolls back over. Uh, but uh, General Cable, look at it, uh, bust grew with some decent volume of those previous highs, only to get captured into those gap downs that we'd seen before. Let's see what else we have here. Biofuel Energies, BR. Uh, brokerage Financial uh, Solutions, symbol is BR. Another one out here tapping away at highs. Uh, this one's making a very clean uh, signal here today that would make you very scared. Uh, pretty much a decent sell signal on this. Uh, Broadridge Financial Solution symbol is BR, uh, but if you just look over the last few days, uh, nice uh, February 2nd high at $24.71, uh, 1.1 million shares. Uh, Going to get into that probably about 20, 30% light here today, uh, especially if you look, uh, eh, what is that, uh, yesterday, uh, what are we going to be in? 369,000 shares uh, today, 300,000 shares. Uh, you had a huge volume day. Uh, that had a huge range over uh, on the 7th of February. Uh, but again, this looks like that. You know, you have a little wiggle, you come back up. Uh, this thing's not going to probably close below today, uh, but another one that's giving you those indications that there is no sign of strength up here at those highs. Uh, let's see, Broad Vision. Da -da 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 -da. Get a couple more stocks here before the end of the day. Again, you can call me at 877-927-6648, and uh, we'll discuss your particular stock if you would like to. I know a lot of people in the den are scurrying uh, because the uh, market is kind of pulling back on them a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can actually pull something up here fairly quickly. But I'm having just a little technical difficulty uh, with the Internet connection we have here in the studio as it has uh, uh, been popping back. Uh, let me find one else. Uh, this is one that I had in the newsletter today that was fairly clear. Uh, Chicago Bridge and Iron Company, a uh, symbol of CPI, big, of course, uh, Bridge and Iron Company out here. Uh, what I'm looking at it is a nice uh, long uh, signal that came and started on July 22nd, $45.12, uh, 3 million shares. We've been going through these last few days on a million. Uh, 1.2 million, 1.7 million. Uh, so, you know, you basically had, uh, and we're trying to break out on uh, maybe a little more than half the volume on Chicago Bridge and Company. Uh, but certainly uh, one of these stocks that uh, uh, you could almost give it a, uh, uh, if you wanted to, a kind of a Gartley pattern on this thing where it's trying to actually break out, maybe go into a butterfly. But certainly at this point, uh, the volume over the last two days uh, is probably a pretty good indication that uh, you're not going to be able to hold these highs very much longer. Uh, Cubis Pharmaceuticals, uh, again, another one breaking out on uh, uh, what's going to be a fairly insignificant volume. Um, this thing's been kind of moving around. Uh, the October 21st uh, high was $40.49 with almost 8 million shares. Um, tried to go over it uh, in January, pulled back into the trading range. 
uh, again in early February, pulled back to the range, uh, again going above it and beyond the previous highs. Let me uh, get just a six months chart here so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but uh, just running out of energy, uh, let's see if I'll zoom in there. Uh, but we're, if you look at the power law vector indicator I have underneath these two lines, uh, as you go up uh, in higher dollar amounts, you should see uh, the energy actually start to increase, and it's not. We're off about 30% on this last line. And again, another one that looks like uh, some kind of low-hanging fruit here on Cubis Pharmaceuticals, CBST. Uh, just looking at these volumes compared to the 1 million shares, 700,000 shares yesterday. Uh, going to be about four, four 450,000 today. I'm looking for this thing to pull back yet again into the trading range. Uh, we're going to have to have a little bit more wind up uh, for these things to actually get above uh, their nice little moves here. Let me see if I can find something. Uh, Cree is another one that's uh, uh, been bouncing off uh, these high volume gap downs or just gap downs. Uh, but what really I'm looking at in Cree, symbol is C-R-E-E, -E, kind of a favorite of uh, uh, some uh, higher frequency traders, but not high frequency traders. Uh, it had the last huge volume day on November 4th, uh, 9.3 million shares, also a long standing gap uh, from back uh, on a high volume down day uh, with energy that was on uh, September 22nd, which started that gap, and it's been kind of banging around that uh, uh, 30, mid $31 range, uh, but uh, 9.3 million shares to 3.5 million shares on February 17th. Now pulling back in, there's a nice gap at 28 that uh, uh, you know didn't have all that much volume, okay volume, but my guess is this thing's going to make a fairly neat uh, retracement on Monday, maybe Tuesday back into that $28 level range on Cree. Uh, CBI Fanchel, CBC, okay, we'll get a couple more here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, and Power Showers, Oil Fund, DBO, we're right up against a, eh, let me get a longer year chart here. Uh, we are right at where uh, the DBO Power Shares, the DB Oil Fund broke down, and that was back on the uh, May 5th of 2011 came down on monster volume uh, for this ETF uh, at uh, 2.1 million shares. Uh, and that was the 5th of May, it looks like. Uh, huge candle, huge volume. Um, again, uh, 5 million shares, is that right? Or 2.1 million shares. Uh, we're up here and just uh, coming up on about half a million shares. So on an ETF, uh, if it was a stock, I would look at this as coming in on about 10% of the volume up to these highs. So uh, we're pretty much at a make or break. This thing's going to have to get some volume to go any higher. Um, we are right up to that gap. You, know, you could probably go up another half a point on the DBO, uh, but uh, extremely light volume. Uh, we'll be coming back here to uh, wrap the show up the last few minutes. Give me a call at 877-927-6648. We'll look at a few more of these stocks that are... Uh, uh, giving some fairly decent signals. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. 
Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakouts gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, founder and CEO of TFNN, professional trader and educator. Also a special guest on CNBC, analyzing the commodity markets. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back, uh, just uh, taking a little blush at this market here at the end. Uh, what I see is we've just tur now turned 3 billion shares on the consolidated tape, which means that we're probably looking at 3.2 uh, or 3.3 billion shares. It's going to be an extremely light volume day. And uh, when we look at the indexes themselves, uh, you know, off uh, 8 on the Dow and uh, the uh, S&P pretty much uh, coming in here, uh, maybe up 1, 2 points or something. Uh, giving you the kind of idea that uh, yet another day without any juice. Uh, one of the stocks I wanted to look at, uh, we've been talking about Foxconn, which is the assembler in China for a lot of stocks. Uh, FLEX is that uh, electronics uh, component manufacturer in the United States. If you want something put together, you've got uh, oh, five, ten thousand 10,000 black boxes that need to go out, your electronics manufacturer. Or 100,000, you could call it Flextronics. They've got assembly lines. Put it all together. Uh, what do we see in this? Uh, pretty good indication that this thing's also hit its kind of uh, resistance level. The July 22nd high, $7.11, 12 million shares. Uh, we got right up to that. Uh, energy, not too bad, about 5 million, 6 million shares, 7 million shares uh, about a week or two ago. Uh, finally tried to break out today. Uh, but again, we're going to come into that with probably about a little less, or maybe just a little more than half the volume. Uh, got up to $7.37 today, but uh, brought its, uh, after turtling or 
prairie dogging, stuck its head out just a little bit, uh, apparently saw its shadow and pulled right back into these trading ranges. Again, this is not these kind of stocks that really look that horrible, other than the fact that I think we've come up here and we're going to need at least some level of consolidation, maybe a decent pullback to get these things, to get enough energy uh, one more time to go a little bit uh, higher in these markets. So let me see what else we have here. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of these stocks that have actually been uh, pretty much smashed give a, you know, kind of a similar kind of pattern that they're ready to go back out here and fin finish their consolidation patterns. One is Finistar, uh, actually a big high flyer. Uh, I've been waiting for this thing maybe to come back and uh, started to look pretty good. Uh, but we have the same thing in Finistar, which is FNSR. Uh, a couple of highs in the 6 million share range. Uh, the first one I'm looking at is the September 20th high, $22.74, 6.3 million shares. Uh, we didn't quite get back up to test that high with 6.6 .6 million shares, $22.19 on November 2nd. Uh, we've gotten right back up to that resistance line. And when you look at the volumes in here, uh, the highest, you know, 7, 10 days in here, you got about 2.2 uh, million shares uh, as the absolute high. Uh, of course, now we're pulling back. And today in Finistar, uh, looks like we're going to have a nice little doji at here. It makes me think that this is another one that's probably ready to start pulling back into these patterns. Uh, a pretty good low out here uh, that got uh, challenged in Finistar uh, was a super high volume low on June 16th. It did get tested by $7, uh, 7.3 million shares and popped back out on August 8th. Uh, so you'd probably look at that 13 91, $14 range is somewhere where it's probably going to come back again one day uh, at the very bottom. But uh, maybe you could pull back and do a 50% retracement, get enough volume, but you're going to need more in the neighborhood of about 6 million shares uh, coming into it with 30% of the volume, just not going to have enough juice to uh, blow out the top in this thing. Uh, another one, oh, going to be running out of time. Uh, I think we've got Basil on the show tonight. Uh, he will be coming in and he will be giving us a full report on that turkey that attacked him yesterday while he was uh, on the air. Uh, turkeys are known to be vicious animals. Can, one little peck can take your entire arm off. So we're looking for a full report, Basil.